Hey folks, welcome back to the Horse Pen Ranch channel. Today we're gonna to make butter swim biscuits again, but this time we're gonna put some cheese, some garlic, and some jalapeno pepper in them. So stay tuned. Well, folks, welcome back again. We are uh, inside today, as you can tell. We're not at the chuck wagon because we have probably about six inches plus of snow on the ground. It's, it's about 10 degrees outside, and so we're doing this from the inside. I've been needing to make a video, and, and we've been busy busting ice on ponds and feeding cows extra hay and, and feeding all of our livestock. It's been a crazy few days, but we're inside, and we're going to do this butter swim biscuits again. We're gonna do it in the house here, in the oven behind me, but this time we're doing a twist to it. And so we're gonna put some uh, Monterey Jack jalapeno pepper cheese in there. We're gonna put a jalapeno in there. We're gonna put some garlic in there. So, okay, right, so here we go. We're gonna do this like we did last time, but we're of course not at the chuck wagon. We're gonna do one, I'm sorry, two and a half cups of all purpose flour. One, two, and a half. Right there is a half. All right, we're gonna put four teaspoons of baking powder in there. One, two, three, four. We're gonna put a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna put four teaspoons of sugar in there. Mix up our dry ingredients real good. All right. Okay, we've got one and three quarter cups of buttermilk we're gonna put in there. One and three quarter cups of buttermilk. Now we're just gonna mix this real good. Okay, there we go, now. We can make some awesome biscuits from right there, but we're not. We're going to add some stuff to this. So we're going to take jalapeno pepper, and we're going to kind of de-seed this a little bit. Get this knob off the end of it here. We're just going to kind of get the edges of it here, kind of leave the seeds in there. Maybe take a few seeds with us, not many. We're going to call that good right there. We're going to put this thing right there out of the way. And we're just going to cut this up. Now we're going to put some of this cheese in there. We're going to put, uh, I really don't know how much we're going to put in there. We're going to put some cheese in there. We're going to say about a cup or so of cheese. Gr freshly grated jalapeno cheese. Call that good right there. So we're gonna say it's probably about a cup or a cup and a half. Okay, can't go wrong with cheese. Cheese is good. Okay. All right, here's what we're doing. So we got our dough ready to rock and roll here. We're gonna pour this jalapeno. We're gonna put that cheese in there. Okay. And now we're gonna add some garlic. Now I don't I don't have any any uh garlic I can mince up, so I'm, so I'm cheating. Now we're gonna call this a teaspoon or so of garlic, just like that. And now we're gonna do something else. We're gonna add some a little bit of garlic powder to it. I like garlicky stuff. A little bit of garlic powder. And we're even gonna have a squirt of this uh Garlic salt, not much because we got salt in it already. Just, just about right there would be good. All right. So now I'm gonna turn this in to each other. And we're gonna have some really good biscuits. I mean, A number one, good biscuits. So you can see that garlic in there. You wanna get it all mixed together well. 
got that colorful jalapeno in there. So normally we would already have a 10 inch Dutch oven uh, ready to rock and roll with a fire going. And, but not today, folks. We are inside. So what we have right here with melted butter in it is an eight by eight square buttered up. One stick of butter melted. Okay, so these are going to start swimming in this butter. So here we go, folks. We're going to just do this right here. These make awesome biscuits for morning. We discovered this recipe not long ago and just love it. But I said, you know what? We got to have these biscuits for the evening and we got to dress them up. So that's how this is kind of came about. So kind of work it around a little bit. You want to get it all in the cornered, cornered up real good. It's swimming in butter. That's why they're called butter swim biscuits. Okay, we're gonna call that right there pretty good. I can almost eat it now, it looks so good. Okay, a little swimming in butter. We got our oven preheated to 450 degrees. And we're gonna go ahead and kind of cut us some, some biscuits out of here. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna put them in the oven, guys. Be right back with you. Stay tuned. guys they're done so they took about uh, 30 to 35 minutes okay and what I'm doing now I've already put some of this on here I'm kind of doing the top a little bit more butter because you can't have enough butter a uh, little little garlic salt in the butter so they're gonna be good and garlicky so there you go we're gonna cut one of these out and we're gonna try it up it's still really 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 hot so we add the extra ingredients in it. Notice the extra crunch. That's, that's the butter. And so that's, that's not burnt, guys. That's just a good crunchy outer. See the inside's perfect. So we're going to take a bite of this. It's going to be super hot. We're going to do it anyway. Oh, yeah. Mm, look at that. Buttery, crispy, crunchy. Look at that right there. Look at that crunch right there. You hear that? So good. So that's good. Mmm. Wish you were here to taste it with me today. So guys, that's it. Butter swim biscuits with jalapeno with cheese. You can put any kind of cheese you want to in there. We did these uh, Monterey jalapeno cheese. You can put Kobe Jack, cheddar cheese, whatever you want. And of course, a seeded jalapeno, okay? So the recipe will be in the description below. We ask you to subscribe if you haven't. We ask you to like this video. Again, we're normally outside on a chuck wagon or doing something outside, but as you saw from the pictures earlier, we've been dealing with some snow that we're not used to in Southern Oklahoma, all right? So that's, that's just not our style. We get a, a dusting of snow every winter sometimes, that's about it. So this has been pretty crazy. We're expecting more snow tonight. So there you go. Hey, thanks for joining us again. We really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you on Horsepin Ranch.